This video is going to take you on a brief tour of the startup procedure for the GCC X380. The very first thing that we're going to start with is opening up the exhaust so that you can vent the uh, smoke from your cuts. That's done by just opening up the baffle in the back by sliding this metal piece out that uh, opens up the airway so that the uh, fan will draw out the air. The next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to turn on the chiller. That's done by the main master switch on the front of the chiller and you'll hear a beep. And then we're going to want to turn on the GCC itself by turning on this top switch which is the master switch. You'll see that the lights turn on. You don't have to do any of the other switches down there. And then the last thing we're going to want to do is turn the laser from the off position to the on position. This makes it so that the laser is now active. Inside, once you turn on the GCC, you're going to notice that the gantry starts moving. It's going to go through its homing procedure where it finds the lower right and upper left corners of the space. And once that's complete, it'll home to the upper left corner. If you look on the front panel at this time, if you turn it on for the first time, you'll notice that it says empty file. And uh, that's because every time you turn it off it erases the memory. And the very first thing that you're going to want to do before you get started with a print is to do the autofocus to level the bed and we're going to go through that process next. So after we've turned on the machine the very first thing we want to do is autofocus on our piece. So we take the piece, we position it wherever we're going to do the cut, whether it's if it's in the upper left hand corner or in the center, wherever you're going to do it, and then go ahead and position the gantry and the laser head over top of the piece. And what you'll see on the laser head is that there's a sensor down at the bottom. That sensor is going to help determine the height of the bed below the laser head given the thickness of your piece. The autofocus process is initiated on the front control panel by clicking the autofocus button. When you click the button, what will happen is the bed will start to raise until your piece actually touches the sensor and depresses it slightly, and then the bed will come back down to the proper height so that the focal length is correct for the thickness of your piece. Now once that's complete, You'll notice that the bed stops moving, all the motors stop, but when you look at the panel, it'll say, autofocusing, please wait. This will continue indefinitely unless you stop it. So you would want to hit the F1 button to stop the process so that you can move to your print. So once the motors have stopped, go ahead and hit the F1 to complete. Now let's look at how you actually print a job. So what you see here is that we've sent a job to the printer itself. You can see that it's in the position number 101. It's the first job and you can see the file name here. And then you can see some statistics about the actual print itself. So the speed is 50, the power is 50, the DPI is 500 and the PPI is 300. Now the file name itself is truncated so if you're doing versioning you may want to include the version at the beginning of the file name rather than at the end so that it would display here in the screen. Otherwise you can simply use the position number which is that very first number to know which file this is and keep track of your print jobs that way. In terms of actually starting the job, you just use the start stop button at the bottom and press that to start it or to stop it. But before we actually get to that, we want to go ahead and turn on the air assist. So that's done right now with this compressor. You flip this little lever to the to the right, that turns on the air assist, and then we would come back here and start our job. The very first thing that we want to do though before we start the job or one of the things we want to do is we want to make sure we close the cover so that we're being safe and then we would go ahead and hit the start button and you can see that the unit starts operating and then we're just going to go ahead and hit stop. The shutdown process is the reverse. Go ahead and take your piece out of the, P out of the GCC. Go ahead and close the lid and then we're going to work this all in reverse. We're going to turn off the laser. We're going to turn off the master power switch. We're going to turn off the chiller. And then we want to make sure that we go ahead and close the baffle behind there so that uh, we're not affecting other people that are using the airflow.